Welcome back everyone. Today we are checking out something I've been using more and more and is the Zion M20 light. Now this one I got is just the white light so it changes kind of color tones but it does also come in an RGB one. The reason I didn't go with the RGB is overall I just don't use them that much to like change tones and stuff like that. It really is just a backup light for dark scenes, maybe a little bit of ambient light and overall i think this has become a very nice addition to what i shoot with so like i said it goes from a range of about 2700k all the way up to 6500k so <clears throat> it's very bright um in those ranges when i first turned it on which i will show you here in a second i was blown away with how much bright it is i have a secondary light as well which is just a cheap Vivitar or something like I don't even know what it is one of those cheap ones from Amazon and it works well It's nice, but it's pretty much on 100% the entire time when we turn this one on in a second I will show you how bright it is now. We'll go over the product quickly It does have the cooling fans in the back So this will help make sure it doesn't overheat because these lights get super hot They are super bright quite a large battery in it Definitely burns through it faster than I expected but a pretty reasonable amount of time and you can charge and use it at the same time, which is pretty critical. Um, charge ports at the top. Controls are pretty easy. You have a double tap to start, just like the DJI drone. So tap and hold. And then a dial to increase the color temperature or the brightness of it through it. It does have a few other modes too, which I haven't really used, like strobe, thunderstorm, kind of some simulations of lighting effects. If you're a bigger filmmaker, you might find more use of that. What I did like about it is these magnetic attachments which come with it. So you have the shields here, the honeycomb diffuser, which is really nice. A simple kind of diffuser, and they all magnet on super strong. You can do a combination of one or the others. Everything goes on really quick. This does not come with it. This came with my gimbal, my M2 gimbal, which I had, um, and it's just honestly too good to get rid of these things work great even for this setup it works really good my number one setup is all of them on i've used it before as a fill light bouncing off the roof for some photography and i'll take everything off then at that point but overall i generally have them all on so like i say to turn it on simple tap and hold and it'll boot right up once it's going it's going and as you can see, we're all the way at 94% brightness. I don't know if you can see that. And you just turn this dial, super responsive. There's no like clicks or anything to it, but it does have like a nice, it's not free rolling. It's got a good firmness to it. And same with this one. This one just bounces between the two modes. So you can go through your Calvins there. And then as you press it, you can choose all those pulse modes and stuff like that. But I don't use them too much. This is one of them. Not really sure what you'd use that particular one for, but it is kind of cool. We'll crank this down. Right now, this is set at 1%. I mean, ambiently, it looks fantastic. That looks like a cool light. It adds a nice fill light to the side of my face, and that is at 1% at 2700 Kelvin. So that is a super nice one. Obviously, we can adjust these to get the focus points a little bit better. Sometimes it's nice to just get it all directed right at you if we were moving it around again you can see how much brightness and we have a huge window here we have a, a key light right there so there's already a lot of light in this room and this is still doing the job it's meant to pull that off still works great as you roll up the temperature god that's bright okay as you roll it up now we're at 10 percent so much brighter and honestly this light almost hurts my eyes compared to the 100% on my proper key light and really should switch these out so we have it and that's 10% it's a super bright light and I don't think any of the reviews really get across how bright it is and this is still with the honeycomb and a diffuser on it so quickly spin it all the way up and there you go now you've got 100% brightness as you can see it's getting some really nice glow to that lens to be honest i like that but you could put it up like that so zion quality wise has never been too bad i've had a few of their products now and they work well 
They're very good in their design, simple to use, but full of features. So there is a lot more stuff you can do with it than I even use. But if you're looking for kind of a do it all light, this is a very, very good one. A newer, I knew it was something. So this is it, this is the newer CL36, which I have on it's a great little light, but this is at full 100% brightness. It does have a simple Kelvin thing. And this one actually goes to a whiter light than that one. Um, and almost down to the full 2700. This is 28 to 85, so a wider range, but I'm sure if you did color tests, it wouldn't test as accurate. It wouldn't go as perfect. I'm not that detailed. I don't care that much about it. As long as it looks good to me, it, that makes me happy. That works for me. Few features as well. It does have this locking mechanism so you can take out the actual whole light from the mount if you wanted. So this is out. We're still at 100% super bright now. You'd be able to set this up in a low profile mount setup. It doesn't have any mounts though once you take it out of there. So the case itself holds all the mounting points. So you have your standard coal shoe mounts, three of them on the tops and sides. And then on the bottom, a standard cold shoe mail mount and then a screw mount for a tripod, which I really enjoy using this one on. And obviously it fits on any tripod, which is really cool. The fan is now firing up, so I'll get it up close. No idea if you can hear that fan. It's not very loud and I've had it mounted on the camera before with the microphone. It doesn't pick it up at all or not enough that you can notice it. The case as well, one last feature I like is this back strip is magnetic. So you can actually slap it onto anything that is magnet, which I don't have anything here that is, but it is magnetic and it's super strong. So it'll actually stick right to my tripod and hold itself to it. All right, so that's just a quick overview of the M20 Lite. Definitely worthwhile checking out. Check out the link below if you wanna buy it. I enjoy it very much. Thanks for watching, good luck.